<laughs> uh, roll cat, you're rolling? <laughs> my name is George Motes, and it's my job to celebrate the regional American hamburger. There's not just one style of hamburger, there's actually many different styles and many different regions. Airplane, of course. As you move across America, burger diversity abounds. There's so much to know and learn about the American hamburger out there. So you know what? Let's go to Texas. Why does my hair look like Bob Ross today? Okay, so today, I'm gonna make for you a hyper-regional burger, the smoked burger. When you think about the way a burger is normally cooked, it's usually cooked on a flat top, something that takes about five minutes. Smoking usually takes a long time. Texas seems to me to be the center of beef smoking beef sausage, beef rib, beef brisket. So it makes sense that my first smoked burger was in Texas. Wait, hang on. Whoa. Oh shit. Where'd that come from? Whoa. Let's smoke a burger. So what I've done here, I've taken a classic backyard kettle grill and I've set it up for offset smoking, which basically means that I've got coals on one side and I'm gonna put the, the burgers on the other side. I use a chimney starter for igniting the coals Lighter fluid's gross, don't use it. It actually makes your food taste like lighter fluid. Ugh, why do you want that? I have formed patties by myself using a ring, actual dough cutting ring to make these perfectly round patties. This is very important because you wanna make sure when you grill or smoke burgers that you have a nice edge on the burger. Because you want it to stand up roughly five, six ounce patties. I'm gonna position one of my grill grate holes over the coals. Do you hear that? No, you don't hear it because there's no sizzle. <laughs> It's just gonna sit here and smoke. Do you wanna know how long? 50 minutes. Salt is key. Salt is just gonna melt into the burger. It's not even gonna really cook, it's just gonna melt. I have offset coals. I've placed the burgers over the grill grate where there's nothing underneath except air right now. The wood chips I use are mellow. I don't use hickory and mesquite. You're much better off using apple or elder woods. You don't wanna overwhelm the flavor of smoke. <coughs> you definitely wanna make sure you position your thermometer over the meat, not over the flame. If you start to notice that your temperature is dropping below 225, all you have to do is open up this little vent in the top. Ow, oh, shit. <laughs> Which could be hot, be careful. And what'll happen is air will flow through, get the coals going again, and it'll bring the temperature back up again. Once the temperature's back up again, close your grate again. That's all you have to do. The key though is to make sure you keep the smoke inside this thing and monitor it and time it for 50 minutes. 5-0. 50 minutes. 50 minutes. 50 minutes. I have learned so many different ways to make a burger. Poached, deep fried, smashed on a flat top, you name it. Just another method. But when you think about smoking, you think about standing around waiting, waiting for that big moment to reveal the amazing meat you've been cooking for sometimes half a day. So what we really do is we're applying the rules of barbecue smoke to a burger, which is very unique. It's a nice way to cross the two worlds. I mean, I, right now I really, that smoke makes me want to Grab a beer or three. <laughs> it doesn't. And sit around and watch this thing cook. That's exactly what we're doing. It actually makes you slow down. A lot of times you cook burgers, it's 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 a lot of work. A lot of work happening. And it's a very short amount of time. This is much slower. This is, you know, sit down and smell the smoke. <laughs> we're about halfway through right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and check the wood chips and flip the burgers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I'm reloading because I want some more smoke in there. I'm not gonna feed you, bird. Go fuck yourself. We're rolling, bird. Here we go. 50 minutes. We're ready. Oh, look at those. Oh, yeah. 50 minutes. That's what you get. I only put three things on a smoked burger on a very uncomplicated, squishy roll. Untoasted, even. First, a slice of raw onion on the bottom to protect the bottom. Second, we put the patty. Oh. Next, I'm gonna put the pickles on, dill pickle slices. There's so much sweetness in your barbecue sauce that you wanna be able to balance that with a good dill pickle slice. And then, barbecue sauce. Any kind of barbecue sauce. Look at that. Uncomplicated, very Texan, and smoked. It's a smoked burger. Mmm. Oh. Smoke ring. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. 
That's so good. I've done a lot of hamburger research over the years. The largest number of hamburger joints in my book, Hamburger America, are in Texas, because it's a very burger proud state. I'm very proud of this burger. Smoky. See you next time.